Welcome back to our Sekiro 100% walkthrough. On the previous episode, we took out Lady Butterfly over a Harata estate. And on this one, we're going to be taking out Genichiro at the top of Ashina Castle. My name is Azavar or Azza, and let's get into the video. We are at Ashina Castle Idol here. We also can enhance our attack power by using the memory of Lady Butterfly. So make sure to use that if you haven't already. And then we're going to work our way up to the top. Let's go. It is worth mentioning that if you want to, you can do the Lady Butterfly section after this part that we're about to do, but it's entirely up to you which order you want to do it in. This is the order that I tend to do it in. But you can flip reverse that if you want to. You can flip reverse those two sections. Uh, so on this bit, we're just going to essentially grapple on up. We're going to be heading for the Idol, first of all. So on this bit, you just want to hang to your left, otherwise you'll get killed by a flying guy there. And before we explore that rooftop, we're just going to get the Idol first of all for safety. So pick up these items, got some ash. And I believe this is also a gourd seed. It is, so grab that. rest at this idol. So a couple of different things that we can do from this area. Uh, we've got some stuff to do in there. Uh, we could also go explore this rooftop over here. I don't really think there's too much of importance over here to be fair but got some ungo sugar times one. And that's kind of it over here, so I wouldn't worry too much about grabbing any more stuff from there. You can head on inside. Uh, so rest up on this idol here. I'm going to use a little bit of a trick here by using one of the balloons that we've been collecting. So I've got quite a fair amount of balloons at this time. So I'm going to use a wealth balloon. I'm also going to use a possessions balloon. These balloons do stack. That's increased sen, increased item drops. So we're going to do a bit of a uh, sort of farming session, kind of, in this area here. Well, not so much farming really, but just uh, taking out all these enemies. In a particular order. So I dropped a pallet, a bit of sand. Sorry that we have to kill this innocent lady here, but there we go. Shinobi's gotta do what a shinobi's gotta do. Uh, so follow that round. Got a couple more guys just in this section here. Might be able to get a stealth kill if we are lucky. This guy can do a perilous thrust. Just as I said it, he did it. Firecracker is quite effective against this guy. There we go. And that is that bit. Make sure to pick up those items. We're going to head through this secret door here. A couple of things we can grab in here. Make sure to grab this. We've got some prayer beads. So we now have four out of four prayer beads. We can increase our health, which is always good. Get the coin purses from the back there. Back through. So a lot of this section really is kind of just exploring and uh, grabbing all the stuff that's laying around the castle. We can also progress a side quest. So we're going to do a bit of eavesdropping uh, soon, so we can uh, progress the side quest in a second. Yeah. 
So it can get a bit spicy if there's quite a few of them, so feel free to... Uh, we can run past. Ideally, I would like to take them out, but... Maybe not. So we've got a shard there. Okay, we got there. Uh, with those enemies there, don't worry too much if you don't uh, sort of want to fight them all at the same time. You can actually just run up the stairs and press on the sculptor's idol, so that's also an option. Now you can open this door here to get a shortcut back to the uh, sculptor. Uh, sculptor's idol, sorry. So the other idol, if you just want to run past these enemies, the option is there, you just run up these stairs. Just run straight to this idol here, make sure to rest. And if you do that quick enough, it should reset the enemy's position, so don't need to worry uh, too much about those following you. We've also got four prayer beads here, so make sure to enhance physical attributes. There we go. So we've got third prayer necklace. Increased health, which is always good. We've also got four skill points we should use. Uh, very soon before this uh, mini boss. So we've got a mini boss inside here. We'll take that guy out in just a second. We have a memory over here. This is uh, Kuro and Emma. Lady Emma tell me the rejuvenating water. Talking about the rejuvenating waters. Is that Ashina's secret weapon? It is. Those who drink the rejuvenated waters cannot fully die. Springs from the dragon's blood. Do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred, not at all. So, Guru is very convinced that the dragon's blood and the dragon's heritage is not sacred. I think there's a item just behind this door. I'm just going to go and uh, check it out. I don't think there's anything too important behind this door, but it's worth having a look. Just um, a few ninjas. But if memory serves, I don't really think there's any items down there at all, but... We can go and take a look. Oh, there is one. There's a couple. Uh, so we've got eel, liver, and pellet. Uh, that's fine for now, we'll just uh, leave that section for now. So a couple of things that we can do, we can do mini boss or progress a side quest or get a prosthetic tool. Uh, so what we'll do is travel back to Ashina Castle, we'll go to the antechamber here. A couple of things we can get from this area. Uh, we can use this section to essentially jump down inside the castle itself. There's a few things that we can get from in there. Let's do that. Uh, so we can hang on the sledge here and drop down. Should drop us onto this section here. Uh, a couple of enemies in this area. We'll choose to go for this guy.
These enemies should die in a few hits. This guy's a bit more spicy. Watch out for his perilous thrust attack. Which is that one. There we go. Dropped a divine confetti as well, which is very nice. Uh, some eel liver here. have the Sabimaru here, which is a really good prosthetic tool. Does poison damage to our enemies. Really effective against certain enemies as well, so. Uh, so you can open this door here. This goes kind of like out the back of the castle. We've also got this section towards the front of the castle. I don't think there's too much around here. There might be an item just kind of tucked away. Uh, you can technically open the front of the castle gates as well. Might as well do that. There's nothing too much more out there for us. Uh, so that's the shortcuts open. So next we're going to try and eavesdrop on a conversation to progress a quest. Just around here. This bit can be a little bit spicy. So you got a shinobi hunter as well as an additional enemy. So I'm going to try and get a stealth girl here. Ideally on the shinobi hunter if possible. There we go. Heavy coin purse, which is always good. So here we go. Uh, this is the uh, enemies here that uh, progress the, the quest. So make sure to stealth and head on over to them. Press down on the D-pad to eavesdrop. Uh, basically they're talking about we don't have enough salt. We use salt for purifying the dead. We use salt for cooking. Uh, we don't have enough salt. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we need to give that information to the merchant that we spoke to earlier. Also an idol around here, so feel free to bag this bad boy. This is kind of like around the back of the castle. A couple of items and things we can grab in this area as well. So we've got one here. Dragon's Blood Droplet. Uh, some items dotted around. We've also got a prosthetic tool going up. Got catching sugar there as well. Hey, you didn't see a little scoundrel come running through here, did you? Uh, these enemies aren't too tricky. They basically they usually die in like uh, two hits or so, but these guys will. Absolutely whack you out of their towers if you get hit. Like so, which is more... Uh, just, I guess, annoying really. It doesn't really do too much damage, it's just annoying that you have to <laughs> jump back up and fight again. There we go. Uh, so there is an NPC that we need to be looking for around this area that should give us a prosthetic tool. Let's take a look around. There we go. So look for the gap in the roof. Talk to this enemy here. This is the uh, Black Hat Badger. It's 1,600 for Iron Fortress. So ideally we need to be looking for this Iron Fortress. Uh, so we need a bit more Sen to be able to get that. We've also got Anti-Air Death Blow. Which is a, uh, a technique. We can grab it as well. So we need to go and sell some of our uh, coin purses ideally before we can buy that. So. 
Do that in a sec. Yeah, so for now, basically, we're just grabbing all the items and looting the place, essentially. Like I say, most enemies around here usually do die in like two or three hits or so. So they're not too shabby, they're just kind of a bit of a pain because they kind of uh, shoot you, like shoot you out of the air and sort of like knock you out of the towers and stuff. Cool. So that's that area kind of uh, cleared-ish. Some upgrade materials there. Black gunpowder. Should do for now. So we need to go and hand in a few bits and bobs. Uh, we've got some information about that salt. So we should go and give that information to the vendor, which is the merchant. Uh, and if you remember, it's the NPC that saw us in the Harata estate, so he remembers us from that day. So we travel to outskirts for that, and it's the stairway. So head on over there. And uh, by progressing that guy's quest line, he also sometimes gets like extra items in his store, so it kind of helps us in that way as well. It's this person here, so we should uh, talk about the salt. Oh, so we've essentially just handed in the quest uh, straight off the bat there. And then if we want to see if he's expanded what he can sell, we just press last commune to idle. Uh, that'll take us back to where we just teleported in. And then we're going to talk to him again. See what he wants after this section. Because he'll want something more as well. Uh, to continue with that quest line. Let's see what he says. Good sir. Good. My soul. Huh? And that means it's my time. Look, look, I've got some new uh, so he's got quite a few more items here. He's got this uh, uh Phantom Kunai as well, which is an upgrade material uh, needed for one of the higher tier upgrades. That's yeah, three thousand for that. So go can sugar, some ash, uh some Yashariku sugar. So with Yashirikus it uh, halves our health and halves, uh, halves our posture bar as well but it increases our attack power by quite a large amount so it gives us insane amounts of attack uh, but it leaves us with not very much health and not very much posture so just bear that in mind if you're using a Yashiriku sugar uh, so ideally we need to go and get the uh... oh, I was talking about the next part of the quest line here Essentially, he says he's looking for someone big and strong to help him with a particular task. Uh, so what we're going to do at this point is we need to sell some of our coins so we can buy the upgrade, the Iron Fortress uh, prosthetic tool. So we're going to go and do that. Spender here. So sell, sell, that should be fine for now, uh, so we've got just under 4,000 sen, 
can also talk to Emma. I think we picked up a gourd seed as well, so we might as well hand in the gourd seed whilst we are here. Yep, there we go. Goodbye. Let's go and buy some stuff. We could also use some skills, so we'll do a bit of uh, stuff before we head in for the boss fight here. So, Ashina Castle. I think the best place... To get there, I think it's Old Grave. So let's go Old Grave. So and we've got a mini boss, and then we've got Genichiro, the actual boss, coming on up. A few different strategies and stuff that we use for those boss fights. I'm just gonna buy these for now. So Iron Fortress. I'm also going to grab Anti-Air Deathblow as well, so... Uh, Anti-Air Deathblow, a skill unlocked upon acquiring this item, a technique which serves the Shinobi, who is not bound by the Earth in battle. Uh, leap towards an opponent who has exposed himself in midair and strike, killing him before he hits the ground. I'm going to grab that as well. So long. That's all fine for now. So we'll head towards the mini boss next. I think that will be the best course of action. And this mini boss that we're about to fight is essentially like a, a master swordsman as such. It does a really, really fast uh, two slash strike with his sword, which you have to essentially perfect parry that twice in a row very fast by sort of like double tapping block insanely fast uh, so we're going to travel up to where that is there's the dojo There's a couple of things that we can use to make this fight slightly easier. Uh, one of those things is a prosthetic, which is the spear. So because we're using the spear, I'm also going to go to acquire skills and then get this Shinobi's Karma body. Uh, increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Uh, so I'm actually going to buy one of those because we use spirit emblems to use our prosthetic tools. And obviously the more... Uh, spirit emblems that we have and uh, the more times that we can use our prosthetic tools might also get the next one in the tree as well for another one so we just increased uh, our spirit emblems by a fair bit just before we jump into it i'm going to double check if we can potentially upgrade the spear to its next level with the sculptor's upgrades uh, we might not be able to, but it's, it's fine either way, uh, if we can or can't, but uh, we could also fit the prosthetic tools that we've picked up along the way, so Sabimaru and also Loaded Umbrella, so feel free to fit those. Let's have a look at the upgrades. I uh, don't think we'll be able to grab it. Uh, we can just do it, so let's go for the Loaded Spear. There. That should do. It says here, unleash far-reaching thrust attacks. Uh, lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. And also tear poorly fitting armor from heavier foes. So let's see what that looks like. Put that on. We change it from loaded spear to loaded spear thrust type. Uh, don't worry if you're just using the loaded spear, by the way, that the first one is absolutely fine, but this one is slightly improved. So we'll be using that. Uh, castle and dojo. Don't forget that you've also got the uh, uh, bundled Jizu uh, statues as well, so you can use those if you need an extra resurrection node put him back on make sure to use your, your things like that you've got divine grass if you need it um your jesus statue like i mentioned things like that 
So for this particular fight, I think what we will use is... We'll have firecrackers and spear. Got gourd, pellet, don't need snap. Probably don't need... Could use some sugars. I don't want to use too many Akio sugars at this time. I've only got three. Maybe Ungos and... In fact, I'm going to go for Gokun's sugar for this one. So that's the one that gives us uh, sort of better posture. The sugar candy uh, made by Shinobi Hunters of uh, Misen Temple. Sustaining Gokun's blessing reduces posture damage taken for a time. So that's quite good in this fight because... Uh, We'll probably get a lot of our posture destroyed in this fight, so let's give it a blast. We're going to use Gokan Sugar to start with. A lot, a lot of this will just be the, the spear, essentially, on this fight. That's the two slice that he does there, so ideally you don't want to get caught by that because it's a beast. There you go. But you can just deflect it, so you'll see like a slight glint in where he's holding his sword. I'll try and show you. It's going to be quite tricky. Uh, so you see like a slight glint where he's holding his sword, and you want to double tap your block really fast as soon as you see that glint. Blocked both of those then instead of deflecting them, but... So you see that his posture bar is already quite high. So you can do a combination of the spear and the deflect to build that really fast. We still had like 11 spirit emblems left at that point. So feel free to go crazy with the spear. Uh, so yeah, feel free to use a lot more of the spear there on that fight, but just a combination of the spear and then the double deflect is a really fast way to build that guy's posture bar and then get the death blow. Okay, so just loot the room. Head on forward. Uh, so we have the boss fight coming on up. But before we actually do the boss fight, I'm going to go and rest up at the idol. Uh, so that we're ready for the fight. And uh, a lot of the time with this upcoming fight, it pays off to be quite aggressive with it. So I take off my uh, combat arts for this. Because with the Genichiro fight, a lot of the time we're sort of like dancing between LB and RB quite fast. And sometimes what I find is if I've got combat arts set, he accidentally uses the combat arts by pressing LB and RB at the same time. Uh, so I'm actually going to remove the combat arts because we're dancing between those two buttons really fast. Uh, other than that, I'm going to be using Akko Sugar on this fight. Uh, Divine Confetti as well. May even use some Ash from time to time, but we should be fine with just the uh, Firecrackers. So what you can do with the firecrackers as well is use them as a little bit um, of a, a defense in a way. So if you need to heal up or you need to apply an item, you can pop down some firecrackers. And then whilst they're sort of, you know, semi-blind from the firecrackers, then you can use a healing gourd or whatever. So you can buy yourself like two seconds or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go and uh, we're going to approach Genichiro and Kuro up here. I do have a detailed boss fight guide for this as well on my YouTube channel, so if you want like a, a massively full detailed guide with a, a breakdown of everything, then definitely check out that uh, detailed guide. 
But yeah, other than this, basically Genichiro is saying, no, you can't have Kuro. And we're saying, uh, yes, leave him alone. It's a wonder he is and that's uh, the fight here, so. Face me. Slide. Okay. That's one. Okay, sure, there's one off. Slide. He does a sword for you, we can put back on the... There we go. We can put the Akko Sugar back on. Just back up, use it. Just back up slightly and use it on his last attack on the flurry. This is a slight delay. After the last attack on the flurry. Two. Then we've got uh, phase three coming up as well. This usually starts with a perilous. Get ready to Makiri. Might in reverse. And phase three. Ashina. Ashina. For the glory of Ashina. Uh, so with the lightning reversals, make sure to jump. Uh, basically, you want to be receiving the lightning at the height of the jump and then spamming your RB on the way down. But if you don't receive the lightning at the height of the jump, it usually won't reverse it, so make sure that it is definitely at the height of the jump. Uh, we also learn Blood Smoke Ninjutsu here as well, which is always good. We'll use that uh, in just a Moski. Like I mentioned with the uh, Genichiro fight, I do have quite a uh, detailed breakdown of that. On my YouTube channel as well, so feel free to check out that uh, separate video. I see. And Emma comes along and says, "You were victorious. Yes, indeed, we were." Uh, so grab the idol. Uh, you can also use the memory that we just got from the fight to increase attack power. So make sure to do that. But Emma reveals that she serves Ishin Ashina. Why? You... Lord Ishin has no desire. That is why. He tried to help Lord Kuro escape. Correct. The message I found in the well. Also correct. My duties have We found out that the message that we got in the well at the start of the game was from Emma as well. She dropped the letter into the well. That she's a doctor serving uh, Ishin Ashina. Make sure to grab this uh, idol here as well. So we have that uh, teleport point. And I think for this particular episode, we shall wrap up here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.